I wanted to add on to Brother Sanchez's build. He talked a bit on this about light codes, and he brought up onomatopoeia. I did a cipher on that, so I thought it'd be fun to break down the breakdown. So, onomatopoeia, tick-tock goes the clock. Synesthesia, hear color and see sound. Back to the light, full circle spectrum we go round. Point within Mother Earth, hear me when I sound. <laughs> A lot of people don't use all of their senses. Once they came into this earth body, they just started using the basic five cents, maybe six, depending on um, your consciousness level. So I wanted to talk about the different types of synesthesias. Um, for instance, some doctors consider this an anomaly, while other people's consider it a gift. It's a blessing and a curse to suffer from some of these, I know personally. So I want to break them down, and I want to break down some MKUltra programming, because some of this is done through these methods of uh, targeting. The first one we'll talk about is chromosthesia. This is where people hear a sound and relate it to a color. A color, Like you um, have a projector and you hear a trumpet and you see the color orange or a triangle. Also, what is orange associated with? Sex magic. Mm -hmm. While an associator might hear a trumpet and think very closely to the sound, I mean to the color orange. And then orange could then be related to whatever program the powers that play attached it to. Mirror touch synesthesia. Individuals feel some sensation that someone else feels. So someone gets touched and the other person, the observer, observer, <laughs> feels it. That's a, another type of synesthesia. Um, people with this type of synesthesia have been known to have very high levels of empathy, very high levels of um, uh, cognitive awareness, shall we say, to the general population because most of them, again, are asleep. So these people who have mirror touch sensory can really tune in and tap into people's emotions. Um, it can be related to mirror neurons or um, motor areas in the brain, which have been linked to empathy. So empaths, a lot of empaths have this synesthesia. Misophonia. Misophonia is a neurological disorder. It's where if you have negative experiences, hatred, anger, disgust, resentment, they can be triggered by a sound. So, uh, say you hear a bell that re may remind you of an anger or whatever um, emotion that you replace it with there. So this is also used in MK Ultra because uh, it could be done through sound through a phone call, a sound through something someone says, a trigger word, a, a code. It could be an alarm that sounds. It could be a smoke detector that's bing, bing, bing. Once shame on you, twice shame on me. Wake up. The last one, even though there's more, but the last one we'll talk about right now, I'm going to um, have to read my notes on it, is kinesthetic synesthesia, which is actually the rarest form documented in the world. This is um, one where it's a combination of the above mentioned plus other ones. Um, they could have variations. For, so they could have things like... Um, a combination of different types of synesthesia features appear similar to auditory tactile synesthesia, but sensations are not isolated to individual numbers or letters, but complex systems of relationships. The result is ability to memorize and model complex relationships between 
numerous variables by feeling physical sensations around the kinesthetic movement related to variables. Um, Reports include feeling sensations in the hands or feet coupled with visualization of shapes and objects when analyzing mathematical equations, physical symptoms, or music. In other cases, a a person described seeing interactions between physical shapes causing sensations in feet when solving a math problem generally can memorize and visualize complicated systems with a high degree of accuracy, predict results of changes to the system. Examples include predicting results of computer simulations in objects such as quantum mechanics or fluid dynamics when results are not naturally intuitive. Man, I feel my face turning a little pink here because I'm very familiar with these. As an overcomer of MK programming and knowing how these systems can work, I I like to talk about these things to make other people who may suffer from the same thing aware of them. This could just be for educational purposes for some, for others, it may help you deprogram from your MK Ultra sex beta programming or other programming that you might have. Others who hear me might think this girl is a crazy conspiracy theorist who doesn't make no sense. No, this is all factual. Look it up. It's in the medical books. It's in the history books. I'm in the books. 